Uh, hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about perfect elasticity and inelasticity. So let me uh, first begin uh, with the demand curve. So if we have a demand curve, uh, this is how it looks like. We have a quantity on x-axis and price on y-axis. So as uh, we lower down the price, the quantity uh, that can be sold in the market increases uh, or the demand for that, quant uh, for that product increases um, because more people can now buy, right? So this is basically true for most of the product, but it's not uh, for all of them. So let's uh, first define elasticity. So elasticity is the percentage change uh, in quantity uh, divided by percentage change in price. So if I change the price by certain percent, then how much demand for that product can I change right so this is what elasticity is so now let's talk about uh, a medicine so suppose uh, you go to a hospital and uh, you need certain medication uh, for uh, your treatment and uh, in that case you don't care about what the price is so even uh, if uh, uh, price is hundred dollars you're gonna buy one and if the price is one thousand dollars you again go gonna buy one and if the price is only ten dollars you have to buy one because you need to have your treatment done right so in that case the elasticity um, will be entirely different from what the regular products is and if you try to draw uh, the demand curve for this so this is price and this is quantity so your quantity is always one and the price could be anything so this is how the demand curve will look like and if you calculate elasticity then elasticity will be equal to so percentage change in quantity is zero and percentage change in price could be anything so we can call it zero so the elasticity is zero so this is perfectly inelastic uh, behavior and now let's talk about uh, another component so suppose uh, if you go to a vending machine so you have this uh, vending machine and you have a uh, two sodas and one of the soda uh, uh, and each soda is one dollar but suppose uh, now uh, the price for one of the soda is five dollars and one is one dollar and they are basically same so in that case you will stop buying this at all and you will just buy the one dollar soda because uh, you think they are similar in qual quality and um, you can always substitute uh, the expensive one with the cheaper one so in that case if you look at uh, the demand curve so this is your quantity and this is your price so even if you change the price a little bit you have another substitute to replace it so in that case the demand curve will look something like this so if you talk about elasticity then percentage change uh, in quantity is infinity as compared to your percentage change in the price percentage change in the price so that will be called perfectly elastic so this is perfectly elastic uh, case. So uh, this is what is the difference between uh, elastic and non-elastic uh, demand curves. So I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.